Hello everyone and welcome back to another exciting episode of the Wild Wonders of Southern Africa. Today's episode I'm going to talk a lot about trees and a very very particular tree that is quite cool here in South Africa. We call it the boba tree, Adonsonia digitata. Have a look at this tree over here. This is just a little baby but already it's standing at around four meters and it's around about well 15 years old. So what I want to show you have a look there in the distance we're walking there now and in South Africa baobab trees are really useful in the olden days people used to sleep in them if they are big enough and they have a bit of a cavity inside they used to make a little hole in the side and if there weren't any holes they would just cut into it because the stem or the, the trunk of the, the tree is actually quite fibrous thus quite soft and a little later on I'm going to show you one that is yeah it imploded because of the weight and the age of the tree it couldn't um, hold the size anymore but look at this big guy I'm saying guy but it's actually a girl you can actually see the difference between a male and a female boba tree so the difference is if you look at the branches there at the top it's growing outwards like that. If it was growing upwards, it would have been a male. Now, because it's growing outwards, it's a female. So if we're lucky, we might see some fruit that has dropped to the bottom here. Now, boba trees grow all over Africa and Madagascar, and you get different types of uh, species and types of them. And here in South Africa, the Adonsonia digitata, this boba tree, they have really, really cool fruit. If we're lucky, I might be able to pick up a little one. And uh, this fruit has been used all over the world, uh, has been used all over the world for baking cakes. So the ingredient cream of tartar comes from this tree's fruit. Inside the fruit is a uh, white husky pot, and that has been used in the past to making cream of tartar, the little powder that you add to uh, baking cakes. Uh, let's get a little bit closer you guys will be able to see this fantastic bark look at this unfortunately vandals have scratched out their names onto the bark but in the olden days local people here in southern africa they would have cut pieces out of the the bark stripped it and that fluffiness would then be um, fluffed out dried you can uh, weave it into mats or you can keep it as it is and use it as a pillow and also a lot of people believe that if you cook some of the oh, the roots you can actually oh there's a lizard you can actually cure a headache out of it let's just walk around and see if we can find a fruit I don't see anything on the top there no fruits hanging I'm just gonna have a look around here we might be lucky if I pick one up I'll uh, take a photograph and I'll insert it here otherwise we might be lucky enough and I'll see what but yeah these trees they grow really really old and this particular one is estimated at a couple hundred years old some scientists believe that the boba trees can get up to a thousand years old but it's very very difficult to determine the age you'll have to use carbon dating um, and other methods but it's quite difficult to determine the age of these boba trees so, beautiful goliath tree oh, let me yeah, take so you we're to another one right on the other side now and we're quite lucky because this boba still got a couple of leaves here and these are the leaves of the boba oh cool there's a little praying mantis there you guys see it right there on the leaf oh, let's run to that side now anyway so you can see here some more leaves popping out here but this burbap imploded let me take you closer to that side and you guys can actually see what the fibrous bark look like it's quite hot here today it's around about 37 degrees celsius and look at that look at this it's quite soft i can actually 
show you like that. And if you want tinder to uh, start a fire with, this is fantastic. It's quite easy to start a fire with this. Now, believe it or not, this tree is still alive. Even though it imploded and it fell over, it's still growing. It's still going strong. A lot of animals, birds, insects, reptiles, and some mammals make this huge tree their home. You see here, there's a warthog hole. The warthogs have gone in there. They're living in there at night time. And uh, let's just walk around this colossal tree. We're so privileged to see these trees. Oh, wow. Some people also refer to the baobab trees as the upside down trees. Basically, when they don't have any leaves on, it looks like the roots are sticking up into the air. That's just fantastic. Now, guys, I really hope you guys enjoyed the, today's video. Um, I might be starting to shorten the videos per week because I am getting busy now and it's not that easy to get two videos out a week. So I might fall back onto one video. So please, guys, share this video. Show me that uh, it's actually worth uh, my time and your time that uh, I am making these videos for you guys. But as always, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And if you're not subscribed to my channel yet, I highly recommend you do that. So click on your bottom right-hand corner if you want to see more wild wonders of Southern Africa. For the rest of you guys, stay tuned. There's a video coming out on Monday. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.